David, look at the bloody size of that. So the bread courses came around. That's wider than my head. <laughs> What's it, what is it from Harry Potter? When Guardian Levio saw. Let's have a try. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Guys, we're getting on the ship finally! I'm so, so excited. excited! I love being back on Princess. It really does feel like coming home. Is that weird? Have you guys ever felt that on a cruise ship where you get on board and you just feel like a big warm hug? Oh my god, David, I see it. Oh, the piazza is so pretty. Oh, take off these masks. We're socially distanced, so when you're on board, you can take off your mask, which is fantastic. It's all the same as the other cruise lines, but Guys, a little bit emotional because this piazza, it's basically the atrium, the centre of the ship, is so, so yeah. spectacular, isn't it? It's a real wow moment when you got on the ship. I think it's one of the grandest, I think we've seen on any cruise ship, it really does sort of take your breath away. It does feel a bit emotional because it really does feel like coming home for us, coming to Princess. I know it sounds really silly, getting emotional over a big lump of metal. But it's true, we absolutely love this ship. We were amazingly invited on this last year, or 2019, for the first ever cruise. So do make sure you check out our ship tour and all of the cabins, cabin tours of other cabins. But it is amazing to be back on with passengers and she is looking spectacular. We're such huge fans of Princess, so after after two years, it's so nice to be back, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely love it. And it's great to see all the crew as well, to see everyone back at it. Smiley, friendly faces. Just a quick note on the boarding procedure. We didn't film it because you've seen it eight times now. Exactly the same, all done on the app, the Ocean Medallion and Medallion Class Technology. We'll talk about that in our next video. It's all about the technology and it's amazing. You want to stick by for that. But it was really seamless. A quick test in port, show your documentation, like your COVID documentation, insurance. And then we were on board in an hour. It was so easy. We can't wait to take you on our journey on this ship with all of the beautiful food, entertainment and goodness. You're in for a good time. Anyway, I can't wait to show everybody our cabin. Yeah, we've got a really special cabin on this one. So we do. Let's go. Should we go on, right now? Let's show you it. Come on, guys. Let's go. What are you in? What are you waiting for? Oh, we told you, you to come. Then, come on, you, guys. You have to pick them up every time. I know, right? Gee. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. What? There's two TVs. Oh, my God, it's got two TVs. Oh, my God. Oh, guys. <laughs> this is very swish. We've gone all posh in the world, haven't we? We have. We've splashed out on a mini suite. Well, actually, just to be very clear, Princess have invited us on board. It's not an ad or a sponsorship because they haven't paid us and we don't have to um, have any control over our content so we can post whatever we wish. But, oh my gosh, this cabin is amazing yeah and the decor in here like how nice is it sorry i can't i can't so stop looking bright. around it's much brighter than the regal and the royal princess and it's very nice very gorgeous. spacious right do you want to take the people the lovely people for a look around our beautiful room yeah come on let's, let's go. go so let's start at the beginning oh a very good place to start <laughs> hey you're gonna break <laughs> up into song then i am oh where's he going oh. so uh there, this bit here should we come around the corner let's go around the corner this is like the walk-in wardrobe area Ooh, very posh isn't it love the walk-in wardrobe i really like this because it's really spacious put your bags and stuff lots of hangers and then lots of fancy storage oh and a safe as well safe there should we check out the bathroom check out the bathroom Oh my god. It's got a bath. It's got a bath? Yes. Need to have a look. Come How on, awesome look. is that? Come on. Oh my god. Oh, this is awesome. It's got a it's got a it's got a bath. I have never been in a bath on a cruise ship. Ben has done it before, but I didn't get a chance to do it. But that's so cool. I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna be trying out the bath. That is awesome. Let's have a look for sizing, David. Oh, to How to big is it? it? Get in it. How big is it? How big is it? Oh, oh, he fits oh, in it. Oh, it's a bit, it's quite low It's down. a bit tight. It's a bit deep. It's a bit deep and a bit... But I, but I fit in. You fit in your home. I can hear you ripping the curtains, David. I'm not really... With your, <laughs> with your shoes. No, this is good. I'm, I'm sorted. I'm so excited to try this on the cruise. Oh, me too. Let's just hope it's not too bumpy. 
Because you don't want it to like splash out everywhere, do you? Right, enough of lounging about in the bathroom. Let's have a look at the rest of the cabin. Lots of toiletries in here and things, but it's very spacious, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice big spacious. Uh, it's bigger than a normal uh, toilet. And yeah, like Ben said, bright, spacious and lots of shelves. Should we check out the rest of the room? Check out the rest of the room. Coming out. Coming oh, out. so you've got a little walkway. You've got a nice little... Mirrors. Full length mirror. Mirror there, so you can do your bits and bobs before you leave. Um, lots of people asked in our previous video about the door in the room. And this one, yeah, it's a connecting cabin. So it means the people next door... Not the people next door can come into our cabin. It means that you can <laughs> well, have... If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. If you are uh, travelling as a group and you book side-by-side -side cabins, you can go between the two. So, no, me and Ben haven't had a falling out. We are going to have the beds changed. Um, but yeah, nice comfy beds. Yeah, so you can have them as two singles or twin beds, or you can have them as a double if you like each other. That's absolutely true, but... We Ooh. forgot to put on our preference sheet which one we yeah. wanted. So you do pick in the app or on online which type of bed you want, but we forgot, sorry. But the, it's going to come and change it for us in a bit. But very soft. Ooh, very how, soft bed. What's it on the Richter scale? On the Richter scale. So it's, is it very it's quite, bouncy? It's nice. It's, it's comfortable, but soft. Um, and bedside then, cabinets. Bedside cabinets, drawers, USBs in the lamps. Oh, USB in a lamp. On both lamps, on both sides. We Thank do, you, princess. We do love a USB in a lamp. And obviously this is one of the two TVs in the room. Two, two TVs. It's very cool. It's got all your usual stuff, but it's quite interactive. You can order food and drink. There's movies on here that are on demand that are included. It's very good. It's, it's a very good system. Yeah, really good system. A little picture of me there in the corner, but I look very stretched. Yeah, that's a, a really dodgy photo of you, David. Yeah, it's a bit stretched. <laughs> But the two like. TVs means that you can watch two different things and you can close these curtains. Well, if you've really had an argument with the person you're with and you won't even let them share one of the beds, you can just do this. Goodbye. Oh, bye. Bye. You can do the other end as well. But, but bye, David. Could do a show. Oh my God, you could. The theatre of Ben and David. Look at this. Oh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen on the Sky Princess, David McDonald. <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> fabulous, darling. But uh, yeah, curtains in the room. So um, if there's somebody else in the room we are, you can um, they have their own little area because this turns into a sofa bed. Right, should we have a look at the other side of the room? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so other side of the room. Again, really big and spacious. You've got a, a large sofa which turns into a sofa bed. Some more storage and lights. Um, a lovely little coffee table. Everybody loves a coffee table. Everyone loves a coffee table. And then on the other side, we have the um, the desk area, which is really huge. It's massive. Massive. And being a British sailing, they've given us a kettle. Um, more drawers, more storage, and a fridge under here as well. So you can keep your things nice and cool in the mini fridge. Lots of plugs you've got. Uh, European, European and US, and a US. So yeah. that's two European and two US. Loving all the plugs. Lots and lots of plugs all around the space. And then, of course, your second TV. Second TV. How spoiled are we? I know, yeah. Imagine Amazing. watching the same thing, different things at the same time. Like, I know. It's wonder how that's going to work. Right, balcony time. Yeah, let's have a look at the balcony. Oh, how many people does it take to open? Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, so out here on the balcony, the private balcony area, you've got uh, two lovely chairs and a nice table. Right, we hope you enjoyed our cabin tour here on Sky Princess. Now, we're a little bit hungry. It's been a very busy morning, so we're going to go down and have some sushi for lunch. And then later, we're going to try Alfredo's pizza. This video is very kindly brought to you by our friends at Squarespace. You can use Squarespace for anything from a personal blog, portfolio, to running your online store. And what's best is that you don't need any web design or coding skills to build a really beautiful website. It's super easy, quick, and really affordable. That's why we recently changed our whole website over to Squarespace. There's loads of templates which can be fully customized to your liking in a matter of minutes. We really love the galleries which show off our photography and the very powerful blogging tools that can help us share, schedule and categorize our posts very quickly. And because we're working with Squarespace, head over to squarespace.com now for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash 
slash Ben and David or use the coupon code Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Wow, the aisles outside of the cabins are so wide. We love that. Sometimes they're a little bit thin, but on Sky Princess, not so. There's lots of room to navigate. It's great if you're in a wheelchair or anything like that as well. Plenty of room to manoeuvre. Obviously, there's accessible cabins as well for anybody who doesn't know that and hasn't cruised before. So rooms that have been specifically made for those people in wheelchairs and with disabilities. Right, let's go to the centre of the ship. Very posh lifts. The very posh elevator, elevator. slashed lifts, aren't they? Yes. Very classy. Very classy. Oh, oh we pressed, pressed the wrong, wrong button, didn't we? Um, do you fancy a coffee, Ben? I fancy a coffee first, yeah. Like you said, it's been a busy day. We've just ordered ourselves a coffee on the app. Super easy. But it's just lovely to sit here, chill out and relax, isn't it? Yeah, you'll find lots of people in here as well. And you can meet friends in here, chat to people as they pass. Yeah, we've got chatting to everybody. It's so lovely. It's such a friendly crowd on board. It's one thing we love. Live music here as well. So we can see the band setting up to play some live music, which is fantastic. It's always filled with music, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really nice. All the sounds of the uh, this. Ah, the washing, fountain. the washing fountain. Just don't sit here if you need a wee. Yes. <laughs> so we're here for our first lunch and I'm so excited. We're in the Ocean Terrace Seafood Bar. It's on the top floor of the piazza and they've got fresh sushi. We can see the sushi masters making it fresh just behind us now. And we're so excited. David loves sushi. I don't eat seafood, but they do vegetarian rolls as well, which are delicious. So I'm really looking forward to trying that as well. Yeah, as Ben said, I love sushi. So we've obviously got to try it here on Princess. So I got the salmon sashimi. Sashimi. I got the salmon sashimi. I got the uh, spicy salmon sushi and I got a I got a sake martini like James Bond, like Sean Connery. Oh, I just got a, I got a Budweiser. I'm, I'm, I'm not very cultured. Oh, I know, yeah, but I got a. I know, sorry, Beth. That was a burn. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I know. So my um, sake martini. It's actually really nice. It's got like a really unusual after flavour, and it's really light. And it, I'm guessing it's going to go really well with my uh, sushi. So I'm going to do a little dippage. Whoops! Oh, lost it. That spicy one is delicious. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So my vegetarian sushi's came as well. It's got avocado, cream cheese, carrots, cucumber. It looks and smells wonderful. It really does. Got a little dip as well. Look at me trying to use my um, the chopsticks. Using these on every cruise now, so I'm getting more and more skilled with, the, with them. Started off, I couldn't even hold them at all, and now I can actually pick up food most of the time, which is a, a success story, isn't it? Well, let's have a try. For a bit of dippage. I literally could eat 30 of those. It's so good. It's so good. Salty, flavorful. You can taste avocado. Absolutely wonderful. We've got so much good food coming up, so you want to stick, stick by and watch us, don't you? We're going to eat everything, eat our way through the ships. We'll come off with our bigger sized cords for sure. That's our top tip. Bring two types of clothes, the ones that you get on with, and then a size up, because you're going to need it. And because we're growing boys, we need a second lunch. So let's head over to Alfredo's. So we are in one of our all fret. So we are in one of our all count up. So we are in one of our all time favorite places on a ship, Alfredo's Pizza Joint. It's amazing. It's complimentary, so it's included in the price of your cruise. And it's fantastic. They're all freshly made just over there. And what we've noticed lately is that they're doing things like starters and desserts now, which is fantastic. Because there was a time we were on a cruise a few years ago where it was just pizza, but now you can get a selection of starters and desserts. So we're really excited and we can smell the lovely Italian smell. So let's get on with it. Let's get ordering. Our starters have came and they look so well presented. They look so lovely and pretty. We got the two antipasta selections. So I got the vegetarian one and Ben got the meat one as well. Oh, that mozzarella is lovely. I absolutely love um, mozzarella and parmesan. It comes with a lovely sun-dried tomato as well. See, see, see. Very good. Yes, I'm going to try some of that mozzarella first because it looks delicious with a little bit of tomato. How Italian can you get, eh? Oh, wonderful mozzarella. Yeah, pesto, you are amazing. I think Italian food might be my favourite type of food. It's just so simple and tasty, do you agree? Yeah, it's like comfort food, isn't it? You can always rely on a good Italian. Oh, we're actually going to an Italian tonight. Sabatini's, and I'm really excited. It's one of my favorite places at sea to eat. You're in for a treat later on. 
Yummy. Yummy. Double Italian. Oh, how crazy are we? Pushing the boat out to Italy. Oh, guys, I'm in heaven. Our pizzas have been delivered, freshly baked. They look amazing and smell wonderful. Now, I've went for something a little bit controversial, you might say. I got a Hawaiian pizza, which is pizza with ham and pineapple. Now, what do you think about that? Do you think pineapple should be on a pizza? I certainly do. I absolutely love pineapple pizza. But we know it's quite controversial in some places. Oh, it's so hot. Also controversially that you're using a knife and fork. Oh, it is, yeah. We've been told off for doing that before. But this is too de too delicate and too, too posh of a place to go in with fingers. But I'm going to do it anyway. Right, should we have a little taste of it? Shall we see what it's like? I'm just a boy standing in front of a pizza, asking it to love me. And it does. And I love it back. It's absolutely freaking delicious. And I went for the seafood pizza and it includes a nice cocktail of shrimp. It's got mussels on there and all sorts of seafood deliciousness. I'm gonna go in manually like Ben says. Oh, 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 we've got, we got stringage. Real hit of garlic, a real nice fresh tomato sauce, super hot, super cheesy. Absolutely wonderful, bellissima. So now we're gonna take a look around the ship and show you some of the things we really like about this ship because there are a few different Royal class ships. This is the type of ship that um, the ship is. And there's a few different variations, but we've got some reasons why we really love Sky Princess. So should we go and have a look? Now I know we've already said it, but honestly, one of the favorite places for us to hang out is here in the Piazza because there's three different levels of things to do. On the bottom floor, you've got lots of bars, you've got a little gelato shop, you've got a, a wine bar as well, as well as the Bellini bar, lots of bars, the International Cafe, which is open for 24 hours a day, lots of yummy food. Then on the second level, you've got like a photo shop, you've got lots of shopping as well on here as well. The Take Five bar, which is like a jazz bar, and lots of little other areas to sit in and chill out. You've also got the Goods Spirits bar. We're going here in our next vlog to see some amazing cocktails being made. Then the top level, you've got more dining. You've got the Alfredo's Pizza Place, where we've just been. Bistro Salamur, which we'll be going to tomorrow as well on the next vlog. We can't wait to show you that. And just loads of places to chill out, relax, people watch, grab a drink, grab a coffee, lots of wood, lots of elegant scenery. It's traditional but modern at the same time. It's, it's really, really wonderful. One space that we particularly like on Sky Princess is the Princess Live area. This is brand new to this ship. It's all been opened up because on the other ships, this was like a TV studio, like a small cinema, but now it's been opened up into a nice, airy, spacious lounge that shows um, there's quizzes here, there's talks, and there's also live music. Plus there's a bar where you can grab a coffee as well. Really like this space. And definitely one of our favorite haunts on this cruise ship has to be the Vista Lounge. It's at the very back of the ship and it's like an entertainment lounge. So there's live music here every night. During the day you'll think, find things like bingo and lots of other things, but it's a great place to come and dance and boogie. There isn't really a nightclub on board. This would be the place where you come for a dance on a night. And the band here is really fantastic. So we can't wait to see them. There is a small promenade deck which wraps around half the ship. It's not a full wrap around, so you can't like do walk around, but you can have a come to the aft and uh, get a little bit of sunshine. There is some sunbeds, some tables as well, and just uh, have a little break when you're in the dance floor and want a little breather. I can't believe how early we've left. I know, it's so early. So yeah, like we said, um, I think the last boarding time was 4.30 and we were gone by five, so What a chop, glorious chop. day. Yeah, I think we've headed straight for the sunshine. One thing that's really unique on Sky compared to the other Princess Royal class ships is the aft. They've put in an aft pool, which is like an infinity pool at the back of the ship. And there's a bar down there as well. It's just such a great use of the space at the back of the ship. It's so lovely. And people are really making the most of it as well in this glorious sunshine. My gosh, David, it's absolutely roasting, isn't it? Oh God, I, I, I misjudged, I'm wearing a jumper. No, no, you're wearing a, you're wearing a jumper, it's very British weather, but yeah, gorgeous. Big wraparound deck, there's a sports court, a big running track, and lots of different pools. We're gonna go to the main part now of the ship where there's two big pools, and that's a big change as well on uh, Sky Princess. Because on the other ships, there was this one pool, wasn't there, with a fountain? Yeah, like the Bellagio type Vegas fountains, but they're gone and they've made the pool area much bigger. Yeah, it's fantastic. And then you've got those sky suites as well. We're gonna show you around one of those. 
a little bit later, we can't wait. David, I just noticed that after lunch there, we didn't get any dessert, so ta -da! We went to the Swirls ice cream, and this is complimentary. There is another ice cream place downstairs, the gelato place, and that's, you've got to pay for it. But you can get this one included in the price of your cruise. It's vanilla, van vanilla. It's vanilla and pistachio swirl, so it's the same color with chocolate sprinkles. Treat yourself. Lovely summer day with a bit of ice cream. Oh, bloody hell. She's a good one. Oh, I love soft serve ice cream. I think I like it better than gelato. I'm gonna enjoy this, you can go away now. Bye guys, you're not getting any of my ice cream, it's all mine. Every bit of it, see you later. Bye David. Bye. Leave me alone. Bye. So I'm just stood here, watch eating my ice cream, totally oblivious to the fact we're standing on the skywalk. Now this thing is like 300 feet over the sea with glass panels. It's a bit scary, but it's got nothing on Virgin with their net. How amazing is that though? the Skywalk. It's a fantastic place to come and take photos, especially on a day like this when it's beautiful and sunny. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here because I'm bloody terrified of heights. Ah, you carol basking in the sun, David. I'm getting my annual vitamin D intake while we, I can. We don't get it in the UK, do we? No, we don't. And that's another thing we like here on the Sky Princess. It's the retreat, which is the adults only pool area. So this is, um, it's complimentary. It's not an extra charge. It's not part of the sanctuary, even though it's next door to it. And it includes a large pool, a bar, and lots of sun lounges, and some little sort of cabana things as well, which um, I think they're just first come first serve. But yeah, this is at the front of the ship. Ah, so that was like a little whirlwind tour of the Sky Princess. If you already haven't watched our full Sky Princess tour video, you can do. We'll put it in the comment section below, or you can just search for it on our channel. Right, we get a lot of questions all of the time. One of our biggest questions is, is this cruise line right for me? Well, we're going to give you a real honest opinion of who we think Princess Cruises is perfect for. Yeah, so we think that Princess is perfect for those that like good food. The cruise line does skew a little bit more traditional than other cruise cruise lines. Things like the Piazza have been very grand and they do like celebration evenings with the formal evening with the champagne tower and oh, all that kind gosh, of thing. Oh gosh yeah, if you love to get dressed up this is a great one. People do yeah. tend to get dressed up, not every night, it is casual formal most nights which means you've just got to wear some sort of thing with a collar and long trousers as well as shoes and ladies have to wear a nice uh, suit or, or a dress or whatever you want to wear. But yeah it's lovely, it does have a little traditional feel but it is very modern at the same time as well. Yeah. Princess is definitely fantastic for those who love food and they just love a really good experience we have to say that the crew on this ship are absolutely amazing and we've re we've genuinely witnessed that on all of our princess cruises we pay to go on holiday on princess all of the time that just goes to show that it's for everybody it's not just for older people they do have kids clubs on board as well there are definitely some cruise lines that are better for kids big ones like Royal Caribbean and Norwegian, but Princess is just a really, really lovely cruise line and we definitely recommend them, don't we? Absolutely, you get a lot of multi-generational families on here. Yeah. Um, we've met a lot of you this morning while we've been boarding, so hi to everybody that said hello. Uh, yeah, so you get a lot of like parents with teenagers or grandparents with like their grandkids and stuff like that. So it's a really nice, cruise line and like I said it always feels very homely very welcoming and like you said Ben the crew are really the highlight of a princess cruise. Yeah not only is it really good for couples like us we get to really have a lovely time it feels very luxurious it does feel like a step up from some of the cruise lines maybe like Royal and and, uh, and uh, Norwegian it feels like slightly yeah. more luxurious and slightly more fulfilling it's just it's just a really lovely feeling we oh we can't explain it and it's yeah. really difficult to put into words but we get a really warm fuzzy feeling when we're on a princess ship don't we absolutely i think when you position it on the scale of like the large cruise lines it's not as traditional as cunard no and um, but it is sort of towards that end compared to like royal caribbean and norwegian it is a little bit more traditional which is really nice it's kind of an old flair with new technology but it's absolutely not stuffy. That's a very important thing to say. It does not feel stuffy. It does not feel regimented. The app makes it amazing. The dining is very flexible, so you can eat when and where you want. You don't have to be told what to do. So in that respect, it's very modern at the same time, but still retains some of that lovely old cruise feel where she doesn't have all of the slides and the climbing walls and all of that jazz. She has a real solid good cruise experience, good drinks, good food, 
happy times. Absolutely. Anyway, I think we've rambled on enough. Yep. We've taken so long doing all of this today that we forgot to go in the pool, so we're going to have to do that on our next episode. We can't wait because the weather's gorgeous, but we need to get ready for dinner, don't we? Absolutely. We're going to sort all our stuff out, get changed and get ready for dinner tonight. Tonight, we're going to kick off the cruise with a speciality restaurant in Sabatini's Italian restaurant. So you've got to come with us. Ah, so we are all ready for tonight. All scrubbing up pretty well yeah. there, David. Uh, yeah, as we said earlier, the dress code here on Princess is pretty smart casual most evenings. So you can get away with like a nice shirt or a polo shirt, and a pair of smart jeans and some smart shoes. But then there is one formal night as well on most cruises. Oh, At least one. Yeah, four, there's usually one on our four night, maybe two on a, on a seven night and more as it goes up in time. But yeah, really looking forward to Sabatini's. But first of all, we're going to head out to the back of the ship because there's going to be a beautiful sunset tonight so we're going to go have some lovely sail away cocktails by the wake at the back which i can't wait for i know yeah i really fancy a margarita oh i don't margarita. know if the sun How shines Mexican. out well it's the sunshine the sun shines out i feel like i'm in the caribbean let's go i might have a look outside first of all because i want to see what it's like i can see a big old big old cargo Container. ship yeah love it let's have a look Oh my gosh, it is absolutely beautiful out here. Look at this, the sun, the actual sun that came out on our cruise. Honestly, the amount of cruises we've done this year, I think this is number eight or nine, and I think we've had about three or four sunny days. This whole cruise has been sunny so far. So fingers crossed for the wet rest. It's beautiful. Sunsets at sea are truly the best in my opinion. Anyway, enough of wittering on. Let's go enjoy this sunset on the back. Ah, so we're back here at the back of the ship. It's beautiful. What an amazing sunset that is. Yeah, we've came for some sundowners. Cheers. Cheers, Ben. Cheers, guys. Oh, I've just made a mess of mine. I even convinced Ben to get a margarita as well. I've got a frozen margarita. This is a yeah. frozen mango margarita. What did you get? I just got a 24 karat gold margarita because I'm bougie oh. like that. Oh my gosh, 24 karat gold. He's bloody getting posh with it, isn't he? Get posh, Get yeah. your posh in your old age. Well, and it's really cool on the app. You can choose like how you want it. So on the rocks, Try it frozen. Yourself. I just like it with alcohol, personally. I'm happy with anything. Well, cheers, everybody. Let's cheers. have a taste. Oh, bloody Nora, that's strong. They do like to make their, their drinks strong here. We've seen them. No measures here. It's all free pouring, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they're heavy on the poor. Poor? Well, on the poor. I'm not complaining, though. You get really good value for your drinks. But this is delicious. Do you like a frozen margarita? It's been a long time since I've had one of these. Never drink them anywhere else but on a cruise and when it's sunny. Yes. I don't know. It just... Says holiday to me. Do you guys ever have that? Is there like a cocktail where it just screams the start of vacation? Oh yes, definitely. Or do you like a good pina colada or a sex on the beach? Mm. Who doesn't like sex on the beach? Anyway, we need to get these drinks down us, watch this beautiful sunset, then go to dinner. So come with us. What got, are we waiting for? We've got a date with an Italian. We do. Cos Sabatini. Mm. Bloody delicious. It's so delish. Delicious. Buongiorno and welcome to Sabatini's Italian Trattoria. So this is one of the specialty uh, restaurants here on board. I know how good was my that was accent good. There. That was good. I've impressed I'm myself. I'm shocked. So this is a $25 per person cover charge. So you just pay for the meal per person and that's it. And you pick from your menu. The menu looks lovely. There's lots of Italian dishes on there. So you're going to get your pastas and, and things like that. And we have eaten here before. We haven't shown you before of us eating here before. Weird, but I've got some yummy desserts as well. So you are in for a treat. So fasten those seat belts and prepare for a expanding waist well, size. Loosen those seat belts, I think you should say. Loosen those seat belts because we're going to be eating a lot of food tonight and you're coming with us. Oh my God, Ben, you are not kidding about their unbuckling of the waistband. There is legitimately so much food. I think there's five courses, six courses, if you include the bread course. God, this is going to be an experience. Challenge accepted. Challenge. Do you get a free t-shirt at the end if you complete it? So let's talk a little bit about ordering drinks because we just ordered our first round of drinks here. Now, Princess have introduced the Princess Plus package and it's really fantastic. It includes three things. The premium beverage drinks package, Wi-Fi package, which is great, and the Wi-Fi on board is really good. We're able to watch YouTube videos 
and Netflix. It's really fantastic. And it also includes all of your gratuity. So they're all prepaid. So you don't have to pay any extra tips on top of anything. At the time of filming, it's around 30 pounds or $40 per person per day, but it's really fantastic. It offers you at least double that amount of value. You can have up to a maximum of 15 alcoholic drinks per day per person. It's a lot, trust me. And you can have unlimited drinks such as soft drinks, coffee, all of that jazz. You've just got to order one drink at a time and it's a 24 hour rolling period that that works in. And the best thing is you can use it absolutely everywhere. So you can use your drinks package here in the restaurant, in a bar, outside, anywhere on the ship. The servers will find you because you're tracked with your medallion. So you can order it anywhere, even in your room. How amazing that you can order alcoholic drinks to your room. It's such good value and we really love it. And we're going to make the most of it, aren't we, David? Absolutely. Get our money's worth. <laughs> oh, so to start, we've got the Struzzidino Cell della Casa, which is the, the what? <laughs> the Struzzicino della Casa, which, you know, knowing my Italian means appetizer of the house. I'm reading that from the menu. So we've got some prosciutto ham, a marinara sauce with some bread for dipping as well. And they're going to bring round the all important bread basket while we still peruse the menu and uh, have a look at what we're going to order. Oh, so I'm just going to have a dip of the marinara sauce with my little little mini bread roll. It's like a, a, a creamy tomato soup almost, like a really creamy marinara sauce. Great way to start the meal. David, look at the bloody size of that. So the bread courses came around. That's wider than my head. It smells delicious. Oh, I could conduct an orchestra with this thing, couldn't I? I thought you were just going to shove it in your mouth in one go there. <laughs> <laughs> What's it, what is it from Harry Potter? When Guardian Levio saw. Let's have a try. That is like the most delicious breadstick ever. And it doubles up as a wand, an orchestra conducting device. Or a walking stick. And a ruler. Yeah, walking stick. Beautiful. Who doesn't love a bit of um, long, crispy bread? Mmm. Delicious. And talk about drinks. My drink has just arrived. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, how pretty does this look? It looks so pretty and so fresh. I got the roasted red pepper starter. It's like a little salad with some um, basil leaves, some roasted red peppers, and what looks like a uh, pesto balsamic dressing. Let's have a go. Sweet, crunchy, really fresh tasting. Absolutely fabulous. Oh, I'm so excited. I got the lamb starter. It's like a grilled lamb with balsamic rocket deliciousness. Right, like Meredith Grey from Grey's Anatomy, I'm going in. Template. It's wonderful. It tastes like barbecue. Really delicious. The balsamic really brings out the flavour. Really tender meat. Love me tender. Absolutely wonderful. Right, I'm going to enjoy this now. See you later, guys. So the pasta courses came. David, what are you doing to your meal? Oh, well, sorry, you're filming. I'm filming. <laughs> I was sprinkling the cheese to get a good, a good, uh, a good even. covering, a good even covering. Yeah, is risotto a pasta? Or is that like rice? a rice? Mushroom risotto with a nice sprinkle of cheese on top. Mushroomy, cheesy, tasty. Tick, 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 CCC is really delish. And I got the carbonara, which you've got to admit is a proper Italian classic, isn't it? Classic di Italiano. A classic di Italiano. Fun fact, all of the pasta is made freshly on board. Absolutely delicious. So I'm going to go in and try it. Oh, that's really good. That is banging. Oh, that is a good spaghetti carbonara. Spaghetti carbonara in my mouth. Absolutely delicious. Sorry for offending all the Italians out there. That was the worst accent ever. You almost sounded slightly Jamaican. A little shard of bacon on top. Love a good shard on my food. Bacony. Not disappointed, it's bacon. Goes perfect with carbonara. Lovely. Well, I got a Christmas gift. All nicely wrapped up a birthday gift just for me. Oh, treat yourself, treat David. Treat myself, treat myself. So I'm going to unwrap this. I got the fish in a bag. Fish, fish in a bag? Fish in a bag. You made that sound very appetising. I don't think I'm supposed to do this myself. 12 years later. <laughs> That's one side off. Oh, there's all sorts of treats in here. Oh, it's like a, a bag of fish. Oh, it's a bag of fish. It's my worst nightmare. <laughs> it's like the fish man came round and got rid of his wares. That's lovely. It's 
very fishy, obviously, but really tasty, really flavorful. And it's really um, moist as well, which is really delicious because it came in the bag. And it came with a little, um, a little side of uh, garlic bread. So I got the pork and it's wrapped in a lovely um, something or other, pancetta and it's got some lovely gravy. Where I'm from, gravy is considered a beverage. We drink it because it's bloody delicious. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna crack into this pig and have a taste. That tastes like Christmas. Like Christmas dinner. Is it? So I had a Christmas gift and you got Christmas dinner. It's absolutely delicious. It really is. It's so tasty. The meat is really tender and flaky and gorgeous. I'm loving the gravy. Lots of little vegetables around the edge as well. Keeping things healthy, obviously making sure I get lots of veggie in my diet. <laughs> wow, these desserts look truly spectacular. I went with all four, so I got a sampler of everything, which is awesome. There's a tiramisu in there, a chocolate dessert, a panna cotta. We've got everything. It's just as well, because my favorite type of dessert is more. So I'm happy, a bit of everything. First one, I'm gonna have a panna cotta. For the love of Octavia Spencer. Holy frawly. I need a shred there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Holy fruit cake. Holy fruit cakes. That is bloody delicious. Oof. Loving the sampler. There's no disappointment involved. I'm always thoroughly disappointed every single meal because I wish I'd had try I tried another dessert. This way, get to try them all. Next up is a mini tiramisu. Gonna have a tiramisu. We're in Italy after all. Oh, hit of the alcohol. That's very alcoholic. Delicious. The next one is a chocolate rocher. Gotta love a bit of chocolate. One of the two food groups, chocolate and cheese, of course. Oh, it's got a nutty case, a nutty chocolatey case. Let's have a try. So that's a frozen dessert. It's got ice cream in the middle and a chocolate and nuts on the outside. Ooh la, freaking la. That is delicious. Now, David, I have to say, your dessert looks like one of the most spectacular desserts I have ever seen. I've just, guys, I'm just gonna hold this up for scale. I got the big daddy. I got the super-sized version of your dessert. So welcome to the art auction today, guys. Today we're doing a delicious sculpture of this chocolate dessert, and we'll start the bids at $100. It looks like, well, it is Ben's, but like super-sized. It looks ridiculous. It looks like a centerpiece of a coffee table. It's massive. Now, I don't wanna smash the glass. I don't know how to approach this. If you love chocolate, you will have found the one with this dessert. It is so chocolatey, it's rich. It's just all chocolate, but with all the different textures. Oh, David, I, outside I, I, and I see your um, oh. Italian styled cocktail Thank as well. You. And what this have you is got my there? favorite kind of dessert. I went for the tiramisu martini, which looks incredible. Look at that. Is that nice? That tastes like a mar martini. It tastes like a tiramisu in liquid form. That is absolutely, I'm going to have to go for another one, sorry. Are you in heaven right now? That's my kind of dessert. Boozy, really boozy. And it's got that really cool, because it's like almost blended as well. Really delicious. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> wow, that was a fantastic meal in Sabatini's. Amazing service from the crew as well. Now we're going to have a quick look around the ship at some of the other food options on board because you don't have to just eat in a restaurant. There's plenty of options on Princess. So yes, let's talk about that food. Well, there is plenty of choice on Princess Cruises as well as Sky Princess. For the free dining options, so the dining that's included in the price of your cruise, there's so much, including here in the buffet, where you can come for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Massive selection, a huge pastry shop, which has loads of sweet treats in there. We've never seen anything like it before. And there's themed nights every single night. Then you've got the main dining dining rooms as well. These are complimentary included in your price where you can have a full on four course meal, treat yourself for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Then you've got places, quick service places like the International Cafe. They're open 24 hours a day with lots of snacks and treats. Then you've got the grill outside. You've got Alfredo's Pizza, some of the best pizza at sea as you saw earlier on. And then finally, there's the speciality restaurants. There's a few on board, including a French restaurant, a steak 
Steakhouse and the Italian where we've just been now in Sabatini's. Really high quality food for just a small cover charge. You are not going to go hungry, trust me. And then there's room service on top of that as well. Most things are free, except for the pizza. You can get pizza delivered anywhere on the ship, including your room, just for a small cover charge. Anyway, enough of talking about food because I'm well and truly stuffed from that meal. Let's go to the theater. Rock opera was absolutely incredible. It was a show full of rock songs from your favorite artists, as well as the greatest showman. Such a spectacular show. Oh, I'm absolutely tired. Who else finds the first day of a cruise completely exhausting? Absolutely bushwhacked. Had the greatest day here on um, Sky Princess, the greatest day. It's like the greatest show, man. That <laughs> the show, greatest day. That's that show song. was fantastic. So talented performers, really good. Honestly, I think it is one of the best, I think it is the best original show we've seen on a cruise ship before. Yeah, it is. The singers are amazing. It's like, if you like Queen, if you like Adam Lambert, and if you like The Greatest Showman, you'll love that performance. You really will do. Now, we haven't really mentioned it much because we've mentioned it so many times in our other videos, but the, around the procedures, it's just really like all of the other cruise lines you've just got to be sensible social distancing wearing your masks when inside and not sitting down and when in theaters and things but princess do allow you to bring drinks into the theater at the moment as well you just got to sip and replace your mask sip sip and recover they call it sip and recover but that's it for our first episode on sky princess you must join us next week we're going to bring you some amazing food and some awesome stuff so do stick around please do hit that subscribe button and the like button it really helps us create even more free content for you and a big thank you to all of our patrons it's because of your support that we're able to keep continuing this channel if you'd like to support us you can click the link in the description section below to find out more and from just two dollars 50 you can become a patron and get lots of benefits like our monthly zoom call yeah and an exclusive vlog series just for our patrons so we're excited to bring you that too that's it till next time happy, happy cruising, cruising.